Hello. So you haven't seen me for a while because I'm not at home. I'm actually in a motel and uh, sometimes you need a break from life and work and porting is a little bit hard and it's monotonous and uh, it's hard to make time when you're moving metal and um, so you need a break from it so what's the head porter do when he goes away and um, he's nowhere around where he can port heads or intakes. Do you rest your head? Do you uh, rest your mind? Do you rest your body? Well, your body gets rested because there's nothing to do. But your mind and your thoughts are this, at least for me. You think about pouring. So that's where I'm at. I haven't done anything for a few days. And even though it's hard work, I miss it. And I miss being around the cars. So it's like this here. My theory is What's the head porter do when he goes on vacation? Oh, well, I think most head porters think about porting. At least if you're like me. And making horsepower. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I got thinking. I do that once in a while. And uh, my sister used to say, Terry... It's a dangerous thing when you think so uh, maybe she's right but um, here's what I was thinking about was this when you port heads for a customer or do a motor for a customer the worst thing that could be on your mind is if you're doing something correct well if you've been experienced at it you probably you probably know what you're doing in most cases you're going to know the changes you're making or how you're doing that head or an intake is going to work in most cases but you always have to worry about what the other guy you're doing the stuff for is going to do and here's something that's my opinion and I've had this happen, and I've told you guys about this in other videos. The worst thing anybody can do to a head porter or an engine builder or anybody that's doing any kind of performance work or, well, even standard work is this. Tell them the guy that's doing the work for you, unless you know more than he does, and you have a shop and he's helping you out if you're a crew chief it might be okay to tell the guy how to do something but if you're just an average guy even if you're above average and you're taking your engine to have it built or somebody's doing your heads the worst thing you can do in my opinion is to tell that person what to do Not the way you want it done, or what you're trying to get out of the vehicle. I don't mean that. I'm talking about tell them how to do that engine. And the worst thing is, if you have a plan, and you back out and change up what that engine is about, if it's going to be a race motor, and then you put it into a stock body pickup, and the guy's plan the whole build out, then you've, you've ruined that application because it's not going to be made for what it's made for or vice versa i see so many guys they tell the guy at the machine shop 
to do what he has to do. And then when the guy starts to do what he has to do, tries to save the person money, then it will wind up being half of what they told him to do in most cases. I've seen this over and over. And, uh, you know, I think that's why there's a lot of people out of business because of guys that do this kind of stuff. The thought process that goes into doing the work already is already, in my book, mind-boggling because you want to do what's best for the person. And then to have a person that won't listen to what you're telling them to do, or what you think to do, rather. I'm not comfortable, guys. Hang in there. Lose my train of thought here. I'm trying to talk and not be too loud because I have people in other rooms here. And I think these walls are made out of uh, paper. Well, that's what it sounds like when I'm in here listening to people just talk across the hallway here. The whole... I might do a video about this motel. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll give you a motel review. I'll get you guys like that. But anyway, guys, get back to what I'm saying. I hope people can understand where I'm coming from with this. So respect the person that you're, you have doing your engine or your head work or your transmission or a rear. Because if you don't have enough faith in that person, if you have to tell them what to do and how to do it, then you might as well do it yourself and save that guy the grief or the heartache. So that's where I'm coming from with this. And uh, I'll make it simple. When people do that to me, it makes me just want to walk away and give it up. And I've been real close several times this year over people doing that kind of stuff to me. Um, that's called life. And I think every person has a situation like I'm talking about, whether you pour heads or whatever you do. But uh, I hope you get my point with what I'm saying here. But uh, I'm not going to make a long video about this, guys. I just wanted to touch base with you fellas because I don't know when I'm going to be doing any more head porting uh, in the next few days here. And I at least want to touch base and let you guys know, like, hey, what happened to Terry? The diesel beat him up or something? So, I thought I'd let you guys know that I'm here, and that's why you haven't seen anything out of me. So, uh, with that, we'll see what happens in the near future here. I have some things to take care of, and um, on a personal level, and um, I'll be getting a hold of you guys and touching base with you real soon. But I didn't want to waste a lot of time me just talking about nothing and this was something that's been on my mind it's been important to me and uh so that's all this video is fellas just a little one-on-one -on -one or however you want to look at it whatever number you want to put on it <laughs> so with that i want to thank everybody uh i want to thank all the new subscribers and i want to thank all you guys and gals boys and girls who's been with me from whenever. So with that, God bless you and have a good night. Take care.